Well, good morning, everybody. Man, it's just, it's been too long. It has really been too long since I've had the camera on, trying to get, uh, well, just trying to go fishing, honestly. But guess what's going on today? Loaded up in the back of the truck, got the canoe out. Man, that thing's, it's like 14 foot. It's a huge canoe. You saw me bring this home, uh, who, several videos ago, uh, back during the summer, brought it home and uh, I haven't had a chance to get it out yet, but uh, I replaced the transom board last night. Um, it actually has a couple of boards on the back where you could mount a, uh, a small trolling motor or even a small outboard, and those had just rotted out. So stuck a new piece of plywood in that. Hopefully it's gonna get me by this morning. Got a couple of rods with me, got some uh, red worms. But yeah, uh, I've been getting a few comments, getting a few questions, just mainly from you know friends and family. Hey, what's, what's going on? Did you give up on YouTube? You're not gonna do it anymore? And I just, I'm just gonna take a quick minute this morning and just kind of let you know it's it's just a mental thing it's uh you know i'm either all in and motivated and have plenty of time to get out and go or i'm just completely drained and have no energy and i just i don't have time i, I can't seem to get out we have been plagued with sickness in the johnson house and uh it just seems like every single afternoon after work there there is no time to go out and fish like that's just not even an option but when my full-time job is in season or i actually work full-time for a while um there's not going to be a video a week I, I can't sustain that so summer months is when when i'm off and i have a lot more time and those are when i can really just get out and do and, and bring you guys stuff but as far as you know this time of year is always a lag uh coming into the winter months fishing slows down anyway and it's just it's just time you lose daylight hours by the time i get off work and get somewhere i've got you know two hours to fish in the winter tops maybe an hour and a half before it's just too dark so so yeah it uh i'm still here i'm still here i'm still uh, giving it a shot uh i've just come to a, a realization that it, it, it is what it is and at my best putting out videos weekly i was not seeing substantial growth from that and so if i could if i get the same views on a video no matter when i put it out i mean every two weeks once a month for now uh that just may be what we get all right let's get this thing unstrapped i did get my rods tied up last night i'm taking two with me i've got my little Fenwick brim rod, but then also I tied up uh, one of these power bait. I can't think of the exact name of it, but just a little swim bait. I've got it tied on a drop shot. I have never fished that before. I've never, I've never done a true drop shot rig. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Wasn't too bad. Keep life jacket handy. Backpack. I'll drape that. Tie this off and throw it over the side if we catch anything. And uh get these in here so the limbs don't catch them. See how it goes i've heard the crappie are biting right now i don't really i mean unless they'll hit that swim bait and i've got some bobby garlands didn't really come for crappie i mostly came just to get the canoe out so
Alright. Pretty low draft with me in the back of this thing. So uh, I think I'm going to hop up to this middle seat. gonna kind of start right here not used to this camera angle I'm keeping it high so you're not staring at my legs uh, hopefully you're getting some decent footage up at the bank they got our worms here well I tell you you couldn't ask for a more beautiful day to be out here I mean it is just dead calm I mean I, I'm slowly drifting up the bank but I've not moved I bet I hadn't moved six feet in the last five minutes Well, guys, I got to say, it's uh, <clears throat> it's easy to stand back at the bank and look at guys with boats and say, well, they can catch fish anytime they're out there on the water. But I've been at this about 45 minutes and I ain't caught a fish yet. Swim bait over in there, whatever you want to call it. Oh, first catch. First catch right here, guys. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's just a stick. We're going to throw that in back and get a good picture. Let him go. Well, we're getting our first bite over there, and I think it's something tiny. Got him on now. First fish, all right. What have we got? Check this guy out. <clears throat> Absolutely. Tiny little bluegill. We're gonna put him back in hopes. Maybe we've found us a few here. We'll get some bigger ones. Always refreshing to get the skunk out of the canoe though. I'm telling you. It has not been what I thought it would be coming out here. So my bobber here just took off swimming up the bank. It hadn't moved any. Check that out. He didn't ever stand the bobber up. He just, I just saw it swimming up the bank. I mean, it never even jostled, but he, uh, he had that worm took off with it. There's one, there's one. Still looking for some significant bluegill. We just landed another little one. Yeah, he's still on there. Man, they're tiny this morning. So we're gonna paddle some open water for a few minutes. Y'all just hang on. Y'all can talk now though. We're not, we're not trying to keep from spooking no fish. 
And there's all kind of fish that jump out in here. I don't know. about y'all but I ain't got no lunch plans yet I'm trying to make them right now straighten up to the bank a little bit here I don't know that we're gonna be able to keep this bobber on either I I'm an impatient bluegill fisherman I feel like they're gonna hit they're gonna hit within seconds of that bait touching the water especially when you got uh, low limbs like we got here they're used to bugs dropping off them limbs and just like that, I think I got a quick bite. There's a turtle. Might have been that turtle hit my line. mouth on that one so he don't have he's got the lateral line but he don't have the spots down the side so he's a little guy he hit it when it hit the water but I was trying to I set my rod down to move my canoe with a paddle a little bit and uh, I thought I got a hit, but it just went slack. By the time I finished doing what I needed to with the paddle and picked it up and started reeling, he was on there. I'm looking, you know, all this bank is a pretty steep drop with lots of limbs and brush, but this place is, is rocks. And so I'm just looking for anything that's a little bit different. Oh, man, he hit it good. I sure did. I snuck up on that fella. And as soon as he knew I was here, he pulled his marker in. I had done been watching him 10 minutes paddling around the cove. I figured he could hear me paddling, but he had his radio going, I think. Uh, he pulled that buoy in. He cranked that motor up, and he zoomed over to the next cove. He... He ain't wanting me to see what he's catching. I got a bass on. I knew he ran with it. And these little, these little bass are in here today now, I'm telling you. My canoe's drifting out, so I wasn't 100% sure I had him. And he about got it swallowed, though. Check that guy out. I got the death grip on him. He's a flopping. He's got this hook down his throat. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna we might do some bass fingers or something out of that guy. He's uh he's bleeding pretty good. He got that hook down his throat. So uh, we're gonna drop him in our basket here. Get it open. We'll tip ourselves over here. Wasn't really wasn't really expecting the bass this morning though. They're just uh swimming with it basically oh we had one on dude we had one on he i didn't set the hook i never felt him yeah oh a little bluegill that time a little bluegill that time about the average for what we've had, we've been catching out here. All 
I don't think today we uh, we leveled up or anything with our uh, fishing skills or abilities, but uh, had a nice morning out on the water, out about four hours this morning in the canoe. First time I've been in that thing in probably five years. So, so I wound up putting fish back. Uh, we had that one and a half, two pounder. I turned him loose. Uh, we just didn't get enough for me to to want to fool with cleaning them, even though we would have, I would have loved to eat some bass. Um, all my GoPro batteries are dead, but uh, when I took that little juvenile bass out of the basket, he he was flopping around just fine. So I wound up turning him loose too. But uh, canoe's loaded up, we need to get a strap down. I'm um, fixing to go make the most of the rest of the Saturday afternoon. And I hope you guys are out doing the same. Um, get out there, try something new. I really wished I could have found a, a honey hole for some bluegill. Um, I fished three different coves. And yeah, we picked up a few small ones, but I did not find the size that I was looking for. All we can do is get out and try it again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, comment down below what you want to see. Got any tips for canoe fishing or, or how to rig um, a GoPro up that would be better than a, than a chest clip? in a canoe. I'd love to hear about it in the comments section, but uh, until next time, I'll catch you right here on the Jaybird.